Good afternoon, gardening family. So I am on location and I decided that I'm going to do this gorilla gardening thing and I am here to get started. So let's get to it. As you know, I am a no dig gardener and I use square foot gardening methods in addition to just being in the ground versus raised beds. So this is a little different for me. This actually works for me though because the raised bed, as you can tell, is trash and I'm actually happy about that because I'm not as uh, used to using raised beds and doing containers and the raised bed soils and all that stuff I like my plants to be in the ground so kind of happy that there is actually not a whole lot going on right here I'm not going to do very much I've actually cleaned it up just a little bit taken some of the stuff and just put it on the back side because again this isn't my property so I've just cleaned it up and made it look nice and now I'm just gonna do very little amendments. But I wanted to show you this because I've moved some of this stuff around and I've pulled up some of the uh, like limbs that were in here. And look at this. This is pretty nice. That's not bad, you know, considering. I've actually moved some of the other stuff and there's actually some mycorrhizal type things going on in here too bring this over to you but this is actually looking okay you know that's not bad that's pretty good look at that so I'm actually pretty happy about that because this is actually under a big tree so this is probably not the soil so this soil is probably not in as bad of condition as it potentially could have been. I think it might actually be okay. So I'm going to do very little. Um, I, as you saw, I am using a hummus and manure con soil conditioner that I'm just going to use very little of it because I've never used that, for, used that before for one and I couldn't find my black cow. Um, so I'm going to use that just as a little bit of an amendment because it has organic matter in it. And I'm just going to really not do a whole lot. And I'm not going to use all of my methods, but you'll kind of see where I'm going with this. So I am going to really just kind of make holes, make trenches, whatever I decide to do because of the types of seeds I'm going to put here. And I'm going to do this in a way that um, there may be more than I need, but I'm going to do that and kind of break my own rules in this because, again, there are actually four beds here. Whether I'm going to do all four or not, I don't know because some of them don't have a whole lot of soil in them and I, I am not really interested in building it up too much. But uh, I'm going to kind of overseed versus how I usually do this so that I'll have some extra plants if I want them. Uh, and may need to thin them out a little bit and maybe replant so on and so forth so I'm doing a little bit of a different approach than I would normally do but this is because desperate times call for desperate measures love this. This grass is awesome. <laughs> Excuse me, these leaves are awesome. So I'm definitely loving that. All right. Those trenches, I intend to put some uh, brassicas on this end and I'm not going to try to space them as properly as possible because I'm going to do a little extra seating. I know I need to give them roughly two square feet, but I'm not going to do that. So Bear with me, and you will see what I'm going to do. On these edges, I have some onions, so I'm planning on putting some onions around the edges as well, uh, as well as maybe some interplanting, but 
I do have some onions that I'm going to put in. You also see me moving pretty quickly as well because I'm actually limited on time today <laughs> in addition to trying to get this done so that's a part of why I am choosing to do it like this time constraints but when you got to get her done you got to get her done As you can see, these guys are here and they are too close together. <laughs> I wish I could get them apart. Uh, I may see as I go along and maybe in a little while I may try to see if I can get them apart and make that a little easier, a little better for it. But right now I think I'm going to leave them there. So, gonna use them as a bit of a guide and we'll roll with that so let's drop some seeds okay guys so let's talk seeds so I'm gonna be dropping several seeds um, some of which I already had and um, some of them are some older seeds that I figured hey let me go ahead and see if they will germinate and if they do wonderful if they don't no loss so oh uh, Part of what I'm going to be doing is this seed. This is a onion bunching scallion. It's a white Lisbon. We're going to do that one. I have some chives that I'm, and I have a long red Florence onion that I got from Trade Winds Fruits and a Walla Walla onion. So that is going to be some of the onions. And I also have some bulbs that I got from my local feed and seed store. That I believe is just a regular um, yellow onion. And then I also have some white ones. See that? So I've of course let these sit for too long, but I figured let me give them a shot. <laughs> uh, I did not get to plant them before I left home. So I'm gonna give them a shot. If they um, do well, wonderful. If not, hmm, I'd already let them sit anyway. So let's go. with some chives and put those along this side. in on this side and then some of those on that side to just mix it up just a smidgen. That is it for the chives. Now I am going to do some of the onions in the back. So these are both bulb onions. This is that red Florence onion and the Walla Walla. Because I need a little more space than what I gave on that side, I gave myself a little more room on that back. So I'm gonna do that because again, these are uh, bulb onions. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, next up, I'm gonna do the brassicas. So, this is the south. So, first on the list is collard greens. These are some Bates collard greens that are some older seeds that I got from Mountain Valley Seed Company, but I'm gonna plant those. I'm also gonna do some of my favorites, giant red mustard greens, awesome. Then, then some American purple top rutabaga some henpeck mustards, and savoy cabbage that I'm gonna put over there near this other cabbage. So, pretty excited. For those of you that may not know what collard green seeds look at look like, these are collard green seeds. Look how tiny those are. Yeah. And I'm gonna overseed, like I mentioned, because, again, I don't know well, I'm wanting to do more than normal because I'm probably going to use these same these same plants elsewhere in this garden. Right beside that, I'm going to put some of the henpeck mustard greens. Also, the seeds look very close to collard green seeds. They're tiny. Next on our list is our savoy cabbage. Cabbage is another one that looks very, very similar to collards and mustard greens. Okay. Now some American purple top rutabaga. Again, these look very similar. Like magic, a trench appears. And like magic, I have holes. <laughs> that I've used my trusty little tool that was broken that I find very helpful. But I'm gonna take the seed, these are bulbs now, put them in. On this side, we're gonna use the yellow onion. 